The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Oh yeah. I just wanted to show y'all this and record it. This video right here has been on my channel since uh, what is it? January 2nd, 2011. Uh, this hour and 50 or 25 minutes. It was a real good video. <clears throat> Uh, it's blocked everywhere. Um, it's with a third party match along with that one up there at the top. Uh, both of them were good videos. Um, they've been blocked, knocked out. Um, so, sorry guys. They're knocking out my long, my long length videos. Looks like, uh, anything that uh, re-record or do or say now is going to end up coming off. It's just like uh, I made that video on Romney. It's still up, but I had to change the, the voice. You can't use the speech no more. They let it, took the third party off. Still use the video, but I can't use the, uh, the speech no more. Um, Actually, uh, I didn't think that uh, uh, people couldn't use the speech. Sounds like to me they would uh, want the publicity. But I guess not. I guess that means that, you know, if they talk about Iran, Mick Romney, uh, Sam Tom, and Newt Gingrich, if they talk about bombing uh, Iran. Now listen to this, folks. If they bombed Iran, we have Fuku Fukushima, okay? We have all that nuclear fallout coming out. Now if they bomb it, what's going to happen then? Is it going to just roll up and just completely, they going to burn it completely up? Y'all really aren't sleeping out there, are you? Are you sleeping? They, there's no more nuclear over there than the man in the moon if they bomb anything. There is, they know better. Or at least, well, wait a minute, whoa, whoa. maybe they know better. Uh, I don't know. Seems like to me that uh, y'all can't blame me if Ron Paul don't win because I've been out here trying. The rest of y'all need to be trying too and ask them why they want to bomb Iran if they got nuclear weapons or nuclear uh, plants why you know I don't get it why would they want to bomb them so they can kill Israel right off the bat I don't know why Israel wants to mess with them do they want to die I mean the United States is still not going through, is not figured out yet what's going to happen from the fallout we're getting from Fukushima. Now, Israel's closer to Iran than we are, but what are they going to do? I, I don't know, folks. I mean, there's more and more stuff coming out constantly, every day. I just don't get it. I mean, why? I just don't get it. What's going on, folks? That's just like this. I mean, you can read the clip. I mean, it's here. I, I mean, every time Ron Paul is expected to win, some reason he don't win. I, I just, I don't understand. I do understand. Don't misunderstand me, folks. I do understand. But my point is that point of it is is this why is there so many people out there that don't understand what's going on are they just too damn scared too damn lazy or just too damn sorry to do anything about this I, I mean I don't understand um, the harder we work YouTube of course last night 
they fixed up our channels for us. Our blog or video looks like a blog now that screwed up. Half ass works, half ass don't. Uh, and if you don't watch what you're doing, you got to go in and change and change and change and redo and come back a couple hours later and, and do it again because they started hiding stuff. Uh, especially my playlist. My playlist was big and some of my friends that I had on there I had to take off and guys I'm very sorry it's it's not you they're still there it's just you can't see them and nobody else can because they won't let me have but so many playlists before I had more um, so I, I, I don't know um, I just have to take more y'all's videos and use them in my blog I guess I, I, I'm still trying and of course Google Plus has still got me blocked so people the harder I try the worse they make it on me but you know the point of it is, is I just don't understand why this is going the way it's going and nobody on this earth sees what's going on there's I know there's a bunch of you out there to do don't misunderstand what I'm saying but why the ones that are out there I talk to people every day and half of them don't even know what's going on you really have to sit them down and pinpoint it really really no nah, man you're kidding me you did that too it's just like uh, the uh, the, f the first amendment the right to free uh, free speech does happen today. The NDAA bill. There's still people don't know about that. They don't understand it. People, I, I, we're screwed. People, we're screwed. We're really screwed. We're screwed. And if Israel gets what they want, which they why why they want to go to war with Iran over them building a nuclear weapon. Yeah, I know they've been fighting for years. But if they both have nuclear weapons, and I'm talking both countries, maybe then they can sit down and have a peaceful conflict and information and talk to each other. And maybe there will be peace then. Because they know if they start shooting nuclear weapons, unless they're just plain ass morons, like everybody's acting anymore and I don't believe that they want to be protected too because Israel threatens them with a nuclear weapon every time they fart and they uh, Iran accuses them of doing whatever it's back and forth it ain't none of our fucking business let them fight whatever they want to if they want to bomb each other go ahead who cares in my personal opinion, who cares? It ain't none of our business. And I don't mean it in a disrespected way to neither one of them. It's just, it ain't none of my business. You people out there got big noses that wants to stick your nose in other people's business. You need to quit that shit. Because one day you're going to stick your nose somewhere and somebody's going to chop that son of a bitch off for you. You know, they're going to chop it off. That's just the way life is. You know, you can push a dog into a corner, and you can push that dog in a corner, and eventually he's going to reach out and bite the shit out of you. Any animal, you can push them into corners, but after a while, he's going to fight back. That goes for you, government. You push people in the corner far enough, eventually they're going to fight back. And you may not like the consequences of that. Because there's a whole lot less of you than they are of us. So, you know, I don't know. But people, it's up to y'all. I try to be nice. And I, I, I am a nice guy. I don't, you know. But this is ridiculous, folks. First Amendment, the Fourth Amendment, the Fifth and the Fourteenth. And Obama wants to go after the second too. 
We got problems, people. Big problems. That's just like Ron Paul says. It ain't none of our business. It really ain't. It's none of our business. And he's right. It ain't none of our business. We got too many problems in our own country right now. A whole lot more problems than we, where we don't even need to be even messing with them. You can get in there and believe that the, go, the country's getting in better shape, but as long as gasoline's as high as it is right now, folks, you can be assured that people can't afford their house payment because you know damn well that your salary didn't go up and you're paying them high gas prices again. So you're letting a bill go to pay your house payment or to feed your kids or feed yourself. So when you're doing that, there's a bill not getting paid somewhere. So you think about it. And y'all still want to vote for Romney, Santorum, and Gingrich? I mean, all three of those guys want to bomb Iran. They done said it. They all want to bomb them. Who don't? The only one that don't is Ron Paul. But yet, all y'all keep voting for is the wrong persons, people. Are y'all going to do the same thing? Are you going to do the same thing? Or are they going to cheat that too and let Obama win one more time? Which we know the people out here that's on YouTube that make these videos know that Obama's a fraud to start off with. And they also know that the people they talk to know that he can't win. No matter who he runs against. Even a poodle. A poodle would beat him right now. But they're blowing it up to where he's back high up in the ratings? Come on, folks. Can't you see the writing on the wall here? We all know better than that. We all know better. So, I don't know, folks, what to do. But you people need to stick together and hook up. Because I don't know how much longer we're going to have YouTube. Because it looks like it's going downhill and going downhill real, real fast. So, much love to y'all. Heads up. And don't forget to go to the blog. Much love, folks. Good night.